Vayikwa. Leviticus 20. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Again, ye shall say to the children of Yasharael, Whosoever he be of the children of Yasharael, or of the strangers that sojourn in Yasharael, that gives any of his seed unto Molech, he shall surely be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stones. And I will set at my face against that man, and will cut him off from among his people. Because he has given of his seed unto Molech, to defile at my sanctuary, and to profane at my holy name. And if the people of the land do any ways, hide at their eyes from the man, when he gives of his seed unto Molech, and kill him not, then I will set at my face against that man, and against his family, and will cut him off, and at all that go a whoring after him, to commit whoredom with Molech from among their people. And the soul that turns after such as have familiar spirits, and after wizards, to go a whoring after them, I will even set at my face against that soul, and will cut him off from among his people. Sanctify yourselves, therefore, and be ye holy, for I am Yahuwah Elohechem. And ye shall guard at my statutes and do them. I am Yahuwah Mekodishchem. For everyone that curses at his father or at his mother shall be surely put to death. He has cursed his father or his mother. His blood shall be upon him. And the man that breaks wedlock with at another man's woman, even he that breaks wedlock with at his neighbor's woman, the man and the woman that breaks wedlock shall surely be put to death. And the man that lies with at his father's woman has uncovered his father's nakedness. Both of them shall be, rather, both of them shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And if a man lie with at his daughter-in-law, both of them shall surely be put to death. They have wrought confusion. Their blood shall be upon them. If a man also lie at with mankind, as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And if a man take at a woman and at her mother, it is wickedness. They shall be burnt with fire, both he and they, that there be no wickedness among you. And if a man lie with a beast, he shall surely be put to death. And at ye shall slay the beast. And if a woman approach unto any beast, and lie down thereto, you shall kill at the woman and at the beast. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And if a man shall take at his sister, his father's daughter, or his mother's daughter, and see at her nakedness, and she see at his nakedness. It is a wicked thing. They shall be cut off in the sight of their people. He has uncovered his sister's nakedness. He shall bear his iniquity. And if a man shall lie at with a woman having her sickness, and shall uncover at her nakedness, he has discovered her fountain. And she has uncovered at the fountain of her blood. And both of them shall be cut off from among their people. And if you shall not uncover the nakedness of your mother's sister, nor of your father's sister, rather, and you shall not uncover the nakedness of your mother's sister, nor of your father's sister, for he uncovers at his near kin, 
they shall bear their iniquity. And if a man shall lie with his uncle's woman, he has uncovered at his uncle's nakedness, they shall bear their sin. They shall die childless. And if a woman shall take at his brother's woman, it is an unclean thing. He has uncovered his brother's nakedness. They shall be childless. Ye shall therefore guard at all my statutes and at all my judgments and do them that the land whither I bring you to dwell therein spew you not out. And ye shall not walk in the manners of the nation which I cast out before you. For they committed at all these things, therefore I abhorred them. But I have said unto you, Ye shall inherit at their land, and I will give it unto you to possess it, a land that flows with milk and honey. I am Yahuwah Elohechem, which have separated you from other people. Ye shall therefore put difference between clean beasts and unclean, and between unclean fowls and clean, and ye shall not make at your souls abominable by beast or by fowl or by any manner of living thing that creeps on the ground, which I have separated from you as unclean. And ye shall be holy unto me, for I am Yahuwah. Rather, for I, Yahuwah, am holy, and have severed you from other people, that ye should be mine. A man also, or a woman that has a familiar spirit, or that is a wizard, shall surely be put to death. They shall stone them with stones. Their blood shall be upon them.